Hey everybody, this is Chris from Camel City Woodworks. I wanted to show you guys briefly how to make a sign like this using Lightburn, and then I'll also briefly go through Artyworks. Lightburn makes it easy. I'm going to show you guys what I've done to do it. So, first things first is know your machine. I know that the machine I'm on can go up to about 47 inches by 36 inches. I know the piece I want to make is about 24 inches by 24 inches. So, let's start with that of course I'm in Adobe Illustrator and what I'm doing is just going to briefly go over the size here and what I want to have is 24 by 24 so 24 inches by 24 inches wahoo again nothing fancy and then I'm going to copy and paste and I don't want there to be any fill on this guy and what I'm doing here is just making the border and I am not a graphic designer I will tell you that right now I'll tell anybody that because let's face it I am not and depending on how thick you want your border to look right I'm not really quite sure how thick I want the border to be but that's probably about right I'm not gonna you know go home and cry about it and this is a demo so I'm not going to be getting all my distances completely perfect, but that's okay because I don't need to because this is a demo and I'm not actually going to be cutting this one. And so 24 inches, this one here, can make that a little bit thicker so you guys can see it. And if you can imagine here, this is now our frame and I'm going to take... but that's okay because let's make it really big control Z because I can't type zoom in here Doo -doo -doo. and make it really really big Doo -doo 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 -doo. the goal is to make all these pieces combine right we want to be able to make sure that all of these are joined up so we have to find a font that makes sense for this type of a project. If it doesn't make sense, then you're in problem or in trouble. And we're gonna find a nice swirly looking script that the customer likes slash you like slash everybody likes, and one that actually will work for our project. So one thing you want to look for here, I don't mind using a lot of these. This one's already put together, which looks really nice and easy. So we might use this one. And I'm gonna throw it up and I want as many of these things to touch many of these corners and pieces to touch as possible I will probably shrink this down. I normally hate to manipulate fonts and stuff manually But with this project and these projects I do this a lot um, The one that I did before over here you can see the I was touching the the L Really it was only touching here 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 and then the lower section which I'll have bridged as well and what I want to make sure is that these are going to be overlapping Ta -da. now the eye is going to be a problem because the eye is basically floating at this point so I'm going to convert to outlines create outlines I have overlap here I'm gonna see what it looks like if I attach this eye just the dot I'm gonna move this down just so it's overlapping a little bit I don't think that looks terrible or if you really want to you can move it all the way up to the top like I did on that last one but that's way off I want to do that maybe over there no I'm gonna keep it there so let's just do that and now we have the first name you can see I'm touching here and here if you wanted to make sure that more was touching you could extend the L up what I would do is use the fancy schmancy uh, puppet warp tool let me actually get into here add maybe a couple points warp that all the way up here that way it's not affecting anything else and then for good measure we'll keep it like that it's not really that big a deal now we're going to use a second font here we'll do this one this one's going to be B R R O O K E, and I know that the person who wants this does not want it to be another font like that so we're gonna choose oh look at that, that's perfect 
again, I'm not picking anything that's super fancy here. I am just picking some fonts that look good. And I'm going to expand it all the way across. So the B and the E are going to be touching. And see how you, I touch the E here. This one's going to be more floating, but now that I have it supported up here, I'm not as worried. That looks good. Now for the embellishment. I googled embellishment vector, and I got this. This is cool. The few exceptions. You can tell there's these dots here. They're not touching and this leaf isn't touching and a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup as much of this as I can. And this is where you get to be a little creative, guys. Go ahead and move the pieces to where everything touches. This one here is gonna get moved over there. I don't want him, that's too small. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this guy can go up here. Make it yours. We're gonna be warping this thing to make it fit. I'm just going to delete these. Uh, these guys over here, all three of these, now need to be merged over here. Ta-da! And we'll, we'll actually merge them. I'm not doing that yet, and I wanted to do that for a reason. So if you're like, well, you're not hitting merge, and it's not going to work. Shh, we'll get to that. Don't tell anybody. Let's see. We now are going to take this whole thing. Copy. Copy, not delete, that'd be great. Go over here, and we're going to paste it in. We're going to make this a group. And shift and pull, shift and pull. Ooh, not that great, right? I mean, now I'm going to actually warp these things into place. And I'm going to see if I can make, make stuff hit. So now that these are all kind of in one piece, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to get this to work. I need the K to touch. I don't really care about symmetry, but I need the K to touch. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and convert the brook there just to outline so it's a little easier for me to look at. I am then going to select this piece down here, and I'm going to again use our Puppet Warp tool, and I'm going to add some points to the puppet. Oh man, I clicked off. It's just frustrating. Select the artwork you want. I want that one. Again, not a graphic designer, guys. And I'm going to rearrange this so it doesn't look completely out of place. Ooh, look how much that one moves. Fun. Control Z. We'll move this one up. So the K doesn't have a lot there. I could then stretch this one up if I wanted it to touch. I could add another anchor point. And warp this one around. It's I'm not really concerned about it, right? But that will that'll hold now. I mean it would hold really well. I'm going to warp up this guy, so I'm gonna add in a couple different anchor points. Him. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna go ahead and add one, two, three, four, and another one way back here. And this one's gonna go up, but I'm also gonna rotate it so it doesn't look as nope, nope, nope. Delete. You rotate, and you're going to get pulled up a little bit, and you're going to get pulled up, and you're going to get pulled up. The R is going to hold. And let's go ahead and click off of here, zoom out a little bit. I don't see something funky happen down here when I was warping. Isn't that fun? Hmm. Maybe I should have combined them all, huh? Maybe. Interesting. Let's hit Control Z a bunch of times and see where the mistake happened. Hey, look, now we're all normal. All right, fine. We're going to go over here, and what we're going to do is actually merge these all together. Now everybody's happy. Fine. Whatever. And what we will do, we'll go back into Puppet Warp. Bunk, 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 bunk. You guys already saw what I did before. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about it, but I'm not going to go super crazy about this. And same deal over here. Dink, 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 dink. You're going to go up here. You're just going to get moved so it doesn't look as silly. 
Now everything is attached. We're going to zoom out. And there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save as. And I'm going to go ahead to my desktop. And what we'll do is save it as Eliza test save. Creative Cloud, that's fine. Now we will open up Lightburn, which is somewhere on one of these. Okay. And we're going to hit import. Okay, and we will import from desktop. And we'll finalize the test. And, oh, I have it set up for my smaller machine. That's funny, doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and shrink this down just so you guys can see what this looks like. And I'll show you some of the issues. So right now, if we were to break out a cut, you see exactly what the issues are gonna be, right? It's gonna cut this. It's going to cut those. It's going to cut It's going to cut it into pieces and nothing's going to work. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to select the whole thing. Oh. Sorry. Let's ungroup. And let's see if it worked this way. Nope. So we will select this shape. Why are we all still together? Okay. Ungroup. And we'll select letter and let. Oh, I wonder if this will work. Let's do it this way. Look at that. That worked perfect. So then we are set on that one. Now we want to merge this shape with this one. Wrong direction. All right. So that was a subtract one shape from the other, and that way everything worked out that direction. For the Eliza name. Let's blend all of these together first. All right, so we're gonna do that over here. We're gonna do weld all shapes together. And then we'll select the outside frame and the inside piece here. And then we are gonna do the exact same thing we did before, which was the uh, subtract one from the other. And now you see we're even connected in the B. We're connected to the frame. And we're good to go. Now, if I go up into preview, you can see um, we're doing some inside shapes first. And we'll do that outside one very last. Bunk, bunk. Optimization settings set up for this one are cut inner shapes first. I did reduce direction changes. Uh, choose best corners if possible is not on. Uh, remove overlapping lines. I recommend you turn that one on. This is light burn version uh, 0 0.807. And guys, that would be it. You'd be done. You'd hit go, and it would cut. That is for light burn. For Artie Works, it gets a little bit more complicated because you have to back save and do all this other garbage. And what we'd have to do is actually fix all those issues here. So let's go ahead and merge. Let's go ahead and merge. And I lost my outside edge. Fantastic. That's what I was thinking was going to happen. Merge all of you. And then what you're going to have to do is go in and actually separate out and divide and actually do this manually, which is not a ton of fun. So if you haven't done it, I don't recommend doing it that way. Lightburn is pretty simple and easy to work with. In my opinion, it's worth the the license fee. So we're going to do save as. We're going to do the same thing. Eliza test. RD works. And we're going to back save it ridiculously far back. Hey, they got rid of like six. Let's do three. Yeah, I know. I'm ruining things. And we're going to hit import on this one. Desktop. Oh, I hate this thing. Brain, 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 brain. 
Where did it go? Alright, where's my zoom? Am I still loading? Is that the issue? I think I broke it. <laughs> we're gonna we're just gonna kill this. Close the program. That's fantastic. Let's start up Party Works again. Ever since Lightburn I have tried not to use any of that crap. Or I haven't used this at all. There's Eliza. And again, what I said before, you would have to... Apparently I zoom way in when I scroll wheel. Fine. If you just did it as this, you can see the pieces are going to get cut off. Inside of Illustrator, your design software, you're going to have to cut those corners off and make them all bridge together. The difference is, is that Lightburn made it easy. The end. You're done. Just get that software. Um, it is possible. It takes almost twice as long to do it all by hand. But guys, that's about it. I appreciate you watching. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And I will be working on some other projects as well. So if you have suggestions for further videos, let me know. Thanks.